With Sega recently announcing a slew of new Yakuza games, now's the perfect time to look back at the series' best moments. To date, there are eight mainline Yakuza titles, with each garnering heaps of international praise for their semi-realistic portrayal of underworld life in Japan. Engaging storylines masterfully balance heady themes of honor and betrayal with whimsy, ensuring each game in the main series is a cocktail of emotions for the player. As a franchise, there's not much else like Yakuza. Kiryu vs. Tojo Clan, Yakuza 5 Arguably, the moment Kiryu is at his peak physical prowess in the entire series is when he voluntarily stops the Tojo clan from embarking on an all-out war by fighting the entire clan by himself. That's a hundred guys, some of whom are armed with guns and sledgehammers versus the one-man fighting machine Kiryu. The badassery is off the charts. Rakia sacrificing himself for Kiryu, Yakuza 3. The death of sprightly Ryudo family captain Rikia Shimabukuro is inarguably one of the most heart-wrenching moments in the entire Yakuza series. With Tamashiro patriarch Tetsuo seemingly beaten in the bullring, Kiru turns away only for the dastardly Tamashiro to pull his gun and open fire, with Rikia bravely stepping in the way to intercept. There's beautiful subtlety in Rikia's final moments. Kiru's teardrops, the man Rikia admires the most, crying above him is the grim moment of realization for Rikia. A true brotherhood lost, Rikia's death is certainly one of Kiru's lowest points. Fighting Tigers in Osaka Castle, Yakuza Kiwami 2. To be fair, Osaka Castle splitting in two at the outset of a memorable sequence, revealing the ancient exterior as a decoy for the shiny gold real castle hidden within, is remarkably over the top, even for a series famed for its hijinks. Lengthy battles against armored samurai and ninjas proceed, with the culmination of a dual tiger boss battle. It's absurdity to the max, with Kiru's fist square to the forehead an apt finishing move against the fierce tigers. Nishiki can't kill Kiryu, Yakuza 0. Pure cinematography is the moment Nishiki drives Kiryu out into the woods intent on killing him to spare him the wrath of the Dojima family. As the two gaze into the darkness smoking cigarettes, the scene is silent and still, disturbed only by Nishiki drawing his pistol. As Nishiki sobs throughout the scene's remainder, punctuated by masterful voice acting and has to be said, Kiryu stands statuesque. The moment's a turning point for both men, a rebirth of sorts for Kiryu who interprets the moment as a life given to him whereas Nishiki's prior charm unravels to an emotional train wreck, signaling the start of his downfall. <laughs> Makoto's Watch, Yakuza Zero. Makoto Makamura and Goro Majima's story is one of the stars that never aligned. Majima's honor is never in question, so when he and Makoto meet at the end of Yakuza 0 and she fails to recognize him after recently regaining her sight, he dutifully steps aside, instead insisting Makoto's surgeon and confidant take care of her. It's another gut-wrenching moment made even more poignant in the scene that follows. Makoto visits her contested empty lot and grave of brother Tachibana and finds her broken watch fixed and buried by Majima her once broken mementos to normal life repaired. Oh. 
私の Majima Makoto Reunite Yakuza Kiwami 2 what are the chances that after returning to the same massage parlor 18 years later, you'd run into the same person you'd met for the first time and fallen in adoration for all those years ago? Well, in pursuit of someone else, Majima meets the once object of his affection again. After reluctantly opting for a massage, none other than Makoto wanders through and again she doesn't recognize him. The scene is lifted by Majima's comical squirms as Makoto gives him a massage but her words are still affecting. After catching him gazing at her watch which he repaired for her years prior, she recounts tales of the man who protected her and laments the fact she never got to thank him. His closing line that she's worked out some knots he's had for 18 years assures us he's now at peace, and his subsequent delivering of a replacement watch strap in its original style gives her the realization the man who protected her was Majima all along, an all-around lovely way to tie up this emotional subplot. Kiru's comeback, Yakuza Like a Dragon. The Dragon of Dojima's reintroduction into Yakuza Like a Dragon is spellbinding. Seemingly out of nowhere, his fists flying square into cheekbone, crunching teeth, and modeling jawline. It's a perfect entrance, for even first-time Yakuza players will feel the weight of Kiru's presence even if they hadn't spent the previous 8 games getting to know him. Kasuga vs Kiryu, Yakuza Like a Dragon Kasuga and his posse meet Kiryu at the Comb Jewel hideout, expecting Kiryu to hand over information as to the whereabouts of Ryo Aoki. Instead, they're challenged to fisticuffs, with pureness of heart and spirit the key to winning Kiryu over. The lengthy boss battle which follows is fantastic, and despite Kiru decimating hundreds of goons at once in prior Yakuza games, it takes a Herculean effort for him to defeat Ichiban. Ryuji Goda's Final Battle, Yakuza Kiwami 2 Kiru's final battle against Ryuji Goda is like Yakuza's answer to Clash of the Titans. Here are two men, gunshot, oozing blood, death imminent, yet beating the living hell out of each other in equal parts brawn, grace, and poise. Ryuji Goda is undoubtedly one of the greatest bosses in the entire Yakuza series. Daisaku Kuze Second Encounter, Yakuza 0 Repeatedly fighting old man Kuze throughout Yakuza 0 could be interpreted as a test of player resolve as much as it is a challenge for Kiryu. To be honest though, Kiryu's second brawl with Kuze deep inside the sewers is best remembered for one thing, and that's the bitchin' metal soundtrack in the background. The setup with Kuze racing through the sewer on a motorbike with a metal pipe in hand is all out absurdity too. Akira Nishikiyama's Flashback Scenes, Yakuza Kiwami Nishiki's downfall arguably started when he failed to kill Kiryu in the woods in Yakuza 0. His inert weakness came to the fore revealing him a person not cut out for the Yakuza lifestyle. Still, his emotional misgivings give away to an inner darkness, as revealed in numerous flashback sequences throughout Yakuza Kiwami. Murdering Matsushigi was just the start for once Nishiki learned he could kill. He vowed to kill again until he reached the very top. Slicking his hair back with blood-stained hands is an especially chilling detail. Haruto's First Steps, Yakuza 6 The Song of Life Man, the Yakuza series epilogues really know how to tug at the heartstrings. After faking his own death so Haruka and her family could live in peace, players might have thought for a moment that the sun had set forever on Kiru's story. Instead, right at the very end of Yakuza 6, we're treated to one of the most touching moments in the entire series. 
Watching Haruto attempting to walk from afar is Kiryu, the infant's first steps mirroring Kiryu walking away. It's a symbolic circle of life, perhaps representing a rebirth or a chance for new beginnings for all of the characters. Majima saves Kiryu, Yakuza 3. It's no surprise Majima owns a dump truck. He runs his own construction company after all. What's also not surprising is that his personal dump truck is bright pink, customized with snow leopard print interior. Rolling through to extract Kiryu when he's surrounded is genuinely one of the most laugh out loud moments and it's always a delight to see the slight smile on Kiryu's face. Majima seems the only person who can make the stonewall dragon crack a grin. <laughs> Majima loses his eye, Yakuza 4. For all the poetry in Yakuza's most noteworthy scenes, there's something altogether unceremonious about Majima's lost eye. In short, it was gouged out by a nobody when Goro was still a youngster back in the mid-80s, his lost eye the comeuppets for insubordination. The knife's reflecting light on his cheekbones is a nice artistic touch though. Judgment Karaoke, Yakuza 0 for all its emotion-laden storylines and skull-crushing brawls, the Yakuza series often shows its whimsical side, none more so than in the karaoke minigames. In truth, there are so many superb tracks to choose from for this entry, but Yakuza 0's Judgment Shinpan track gets the nod, quite simply because it's an absolute banger. Its mid-chorus cinematic is all-out 80s hair metal too. That's all for now. If you enjoy what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe. We upload brand new videos every single day. After subscribing, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Bolt.